cell organelles part 2 there are several small particles in the cytoplasm called granules which serve as food materials such as starch glycogen and fats for the cells vacuoles are certain clear spaces that are seen in the cytoplasm they are filled with water and other various substances in solution. In plant cells, the vacuoles are usually quite large and the liquid which they contain is known as cell sap. The cell sap stores many enzymes, minerals and pigments. Animal cells do not have such prominent vacuoles and they are also fewer in number. The enzymes present in the vacuole are useful for various metabolic activities. These enzymes provide rigidity to the cell and maintain a balance between its minerals and water. The nucleus is the most important cell organelle and regulates as well as coordinates various life processes of the cell. It plays a crucial role in the process of cell division and contains factors or genes which determine heredity. The nucleus is a small spherical mass located somewhat in the center of the cytoplasm. It is the largest organelle. The nucleus is generally seen in the center of all animal cells. However, because of the large size of the central vacuole in plant cells, it is found near the plasma membrane. The nucleus also contains the nucleoplasm, which is surrounded by two membrane covering known as the nuclear envelope. The outer membrane is continuous with the endoplasmic reticulum. In the nucleoplasm, there are certain thread-like structures called chromatin fibers. During cell division, the chromatin fibers become thick and ribbon-like and are then called chromosomes. Chromosomes are the most important structures seen only during the process of nuclear division. They maintain their morphological and physiological properties through successive divisions. The number of chromosomes is definite in each species. Diploid cells have two sets of chromosomes in pairs known as homologous chromosomes. Some organisms have one or two distinct chromosomes called sex chromosomes. Other chromosomes are called autosomes. Every human body cell has 46 chromosomes, that is, 23 pairs. Every human male has 44 autosomes and XY sex chromosomes, whereas every female has 44 autosomes and XX sex chromosomes. These chromosomes carry genetic characters from the parents to the offspring through the union of the female egg and the male sperm. Chromosomes appear as long threads called chromatin and are composed of hereditary units called genes. Genes are made up of a complex chemical substance known as deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA. Genes and not the number of chromosomes determine the characteristics of a species. Animals such as lions, tigers and house cats have 38 chromosomes. However, they look different because of their different genes located on these chromosomes. The nuclear envelope which covers the nucleoplasm is perforated with pores. The nuclear membrane pores allow transport of RNA molecules and proteins in and out of the nucleus 
during the stages of cell growth and reproduction. Each nucleic acid is made up of four types of nucleotides which are joined to form a long linear polynucleotide chain. Each nucleotide is made of three basic molecules a pentose sugar, a nitrogen base and a phosphoric acid molecule. The DNA has deoxyribose sugar molecules. The RNA has ribose sugar molecules while the phosphoric acid is common to both. The nitrogen bases are adenine, guanine, thymine and cytosine. The DNA is a long linear double helical molecule made of two polynucleotide strands. The double helix model was given by Watson and Crick in 1953. The main function of DNA is to store genetic information in the form of genes. A gene is a specific length of the DNA chain and is responsible for a particular character of an organism. For example, the color of hair. RNA is a single-stranded linear polynucleotide molecule. It is made of ribose sugar, phosphoric acid and the nitrogen bases A, G, C and uracil, U. There are three main types of RNA which carry out different functions. Messenger RNA or mRNA, ribosomal RNA or rRNA and transfer RNA or tRNA. Each nucleus also has at least one nucleolus in it, while some may have more than one. The number of nucleoli in a cell is fixed. Each eukaryotic cell has at least one nucleus. Some algal and fungal cells are multinucleate. For example, syncytium. Some cells are anucleate, that is, without a nucleus. Examples of anucleate cells are mature phloem sieve tube elements in plants and mature red blood cells of mammals. Thus, the cell organelles carry out different types of functions, thereby being a direct backbone of the most fundamental unit of life we know as cells.